Hi, this is Zach Mayer with the US Child Breakers here at ZachsTradersCafe.com for Wednesday, the 6th of September. Starting off with the S&P, which has backed off from that uh, 45, 20, 30 resistance, uh, maybe up to 45, 40, I suppose, if you're fussy. Uh, that was the resistance on the way down, and it's uh, stuck between that area and the 50-day moving average, currently, currently around 4470. I'd like to see this market stay above the 50-day line, although that might be asking a little bit too much. Uh, given that we've already rounded quite a long way from the main neckline support, post-June neckline support there around 43.30, but uh, hopefully the 50-day line or thereabouts will stem the pullback. Moving on to the stocks and uh, quite a motley collection today. First up is uh, Aurora, which we've looked at before. Uh, here, a rebound after a bear trap uh, from, well, bear trap uh, from below the 50-day moving average. That's still rising there at $3.10, above $3.10. We're looking for up to uh, $4.30, which is uh, an upper parallel resistance line from back in October last year. Hopefully we'll see that by the end of this month. Moving on to a stock which was uh, formerly a favorite here, but uh, obviously pulled back and so became a lesser one. Uh, the uh, peak there for uh, CX app back in the early summer. But just the first signs that we're back in business with a break of that falling wedge around $4. About $4 looking for the uh, 50-day moving average area as high as $7 by the end of next month, and maybe a bit sooner than that. But ideally, no fresh lows below $3 over the near term, and uh, ideally we stay above that broken resistance line from June at uh, around that $4 mark. Moving on to another name, which uh, may, be, uh, f may feature more in the future. We've got uh, Selectar Biosciences. Uh, here we gap through resistance. Finding uh, support, hopefully, at old resistance, around $2.20, uh, above two twenty. looking for the top of that rising trend channel from back in October, $3.40 by the end of next month. Another situation which may have legs is complete Solaria here. I suppose it's a bit of an outlier call in the sense that we're assuming a lot here. We're assuming that we're in a rising trend channel base. Well, there's not that much of evidence for that. We did have bullish divergence going into the turnaround, I suppose, if you are fussy, you'd be looking for a break of uh, recent resistance around $2.70 to be broken to then assume that we could then head up towards uh, the 50-day line uh, through, five, uh, through $5 and up to the top of that channel at $6 by the end of next month. But let's see if that rather well, punchy call comes to pass for complete Solaria. Uh, another stock which uh, may be uh, new to some is... Uh, in Himikaze, and uh, here you can see we've had a falling wedge breakout. That was around $2.10. Initial target here, the 50-day line, and recent resistance of $2.60 plus. Ultimate target, maybe by the end of next month, up to $3.70, which is the top of that broadening, broadening triangle from back in July. We've got bullish divergence going into the falling wedge breakout, so that gives us extra confidence. Uh, another stock which is uh, a one to watch is hopefully uh, immunoprecise antibodies. Again, another uh, falling wedge, another uh, falling wedge breakout, another case of uh, bullish divergence going into that, and then the hope that we'll hit not only the uh, 50-day line, $2.50, but up to $3.50 by the end of next month. So you can see a similar setup there in two stocks in a row. On to uh, a stock which has been hit, featured here quite a lot, Lancetec Global. Here we're just uh, trying to break the recent consolidation, which has been in place since the end of June. Rising trend channel there from the uh, beginning of the year, back in March. Top of that channel heading to $9.30, and that's valid while we hold above $6.50 and the 50-day moving average. But uh, nice RSI bounces there around the uh, neutral 50 level as well, so hopefully this will be... The breakout for the stock if you're cautious i suppose you wait for an end of day close through 720 just to make sure we're going ahead with uh, another stock which is uh, looking as though it has um, legs and uh, coming up in the form of uh, national cinemedia you can see here that uh, we've had a reasonable breakout through the neckline from back in june four dollars thirty above that we're looking for a journey to the top of the rising trend channel from the turn of the year, which is currently pointing as high as uh, $9 to be hit as soon as the end of next month. But ideally, we stay well above the uh, $4.20 area in the meantime. 
On to the last three. First one is um, surf air mo mobility. And uh, the uh, hope here is that we'll have a continuation of the uh, rebound that we've had. We had a gap closed by signal back at the end of last month. Broke neckline resistance around $1.50 and uh, looking for $4 as soon as the end of next month. And uh, that hopefully will be something which will be delivered maybe even sooner than that, given the way the shares are moving. We've already had another gap close there. Uh, from or below the uh, $2 level, so above $2 looking relatively healthy there. On to the last two, as you might logically assume. First one is uh, Sheng Feng, uh, stock which we covered before, but uh, here we've got through the 50-day moving average, $6.50 and above that looking for top of the rising trend channel from uh, earlier this year, from back in the spring, as high as uh, $14 to be hit by the end of next month, but the key is holding above the gap and the 50-day line. Finishing off uh, with uh, up wheels, uh, which uh, wheels up, in fact, uh, let's get it right. Uh, wheels up where uh, we've got a break of that resistance line there from back in June and the 50-day moving average, so call it that uh, the 190 zone above 190, looking for up to 550 at the top of that rising trend channel from back in May. If you're cautious, I suppose you might just wait for a break of uh, 280, which was resistance pre today's or yesterday's push to the upside. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow.